While the convention was described as rousing and inspirational, coverage of the event by the major networks continues to be distracting. More from our correspondent, John Goldblatt. Thanks, Craig. While the story is compelling, network coverage diminishes its value by only delivering brief snippets of unnecessary commentary and constantly passing off the viewer to other reporters. Here's Ted Jessup with more. Thank you, Goldie. By pointlessly handing a story off to a seemingly endless number of correspondents, a viewer's understanding of any kind of narrative flow is soon lost. Mike Gibbons has more. <laughs> Thanks, Ted. We're going to give you a kernel of a story to make you think we're telling you something. For instance, Ron Reagan Jr. has just approached Senator Kerry. Back to you, Craig. Thanks, Mike. That was quite a kernel. Uh, <laughs> do you have any more information? Oh, it's too early to tell. Uh, let's go back up to Ted. Uh, thanks, Mike. Uh, it's hard to tell, but I'm sure something is brewing. Back to you, Craig. Wait a second. You guys are actually standing next to each other. Mike, you said back to Ted. Ted's standing right next to you. Thanks, Craig. That's exactly right. For more on this, for more on this, let's go down to the floor to Goldie. Thank you, Mike. New information is coming in as we speak. And we'll keep you posted as we have more. Back to you, Ted. Thanks, Goldie. Uh, back to you, Craig. This actually seemed like a good idea in rehearsal. All right, thank you. In crude and unusual punishment news, a woman in Texas got quite a surprise when she arrived home this week and found, listen, crude oil spewing out of her toilet. We are getting uh, breaking news that the U.S. Marines have just invaded that woman's bathroom. Uh, let's go to our reporter, Justin Thomas, who's on the scene. Justin? Craig, I can barely hear you. I'm embedded in the middle of a war zone. About 20 minutes ago, we started hearing rumors. This woman had we weapons of mass destruction. Then bang, shock, and awe. In domestic goddess Martha Stewart has been found guilty on four counts ranging from conspiracy to obstruction of justice. Our correspondent, Justin Thomas, is at the courthouse. Justin, what's the mood like there? Awesome! We got her, man! We nailed her! Mm, this feels good! Yeah! Wait, hold on. Hold on, Justin. It seems like you're letting your personal feelings get in in the way of a good story. This is a complex case. The charges were actually, you know, against her, and it was very difficult. Craig, when something this beautiful happens to someone you hate so much, you don't question it. You savor it. You relish it. You roll it around in your mouth and jiggle it like tomato ice. Yeah, thank you. So here now is our favorite leprechaun, Lefty O'Toole. Lefty, Lefty, how are, how are people celebrating? Name your poison, Craig. Hearts, clovers, bathtub crystal meth, dyed green for the festivities. We're brain damaged. Right, right. Hey, Lefty, is that true that St. Patrick drove the snakes from Ireland? Oh, yes, and right into the Republican Party, don't you know? I kid the Republicans because I'm drunk and unemployed. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can see why. Do you have any advice for people going out to celebrate tonight? Oh, yes, I do. If you see a 6'5 leprechaun, buy him a beer, take him home, and have your way with him. And if you're a female, more's the better. Yeah. Lefty O'Toole. 